Hey YouTube, how's it going? This is Games for 81. I've had a number of people who've wanted to see, uh, put in requests who wanted to see the Magnavox Odyssey. Um, this is an interesting system. It uh, came out in 1972, so it makes it the very first uh, system ever released, uh, predating the Atari uh, uh, Pong by uh, three, or f three to five years, so that's interesting. Um, now, I know Angry Video Game Nerd had just done a video on this particular system. It's hilarious. You guys got to watch it. However, um, I'm going to do a little different perspective. Rather than dropping F-bombs every other word and say how you know, the system sucks, I'm going to really you know, approach this in the sense that you got to consider, keep in mind, that the system's 37 years old. So uh, it's, it's a definitely an old system. Um, it's a grandfather of video game systems. So to poke fun of this system is like poking fun of your grandparents in a sense. Um, so um, here's kind of interesting. Weird design um, on the very back. Um, you've got you've got your uh, control uh, player one, uh, your player two. This is a center it. Uh, this is to speed up uh, your RV out, and this is the power. Uh, this system works out. This system works perfect. Um, it's kind of you know it's ironic that the system's uh, 37 years old and uh, my 360 is uh, you know three years old, and that uh, I've gone through three of those. <laughs> um, so I'm kind of pissed about that. Now these are the carts. It's a stretch to call these game cartridges because actually what they are, they're actually uh, they're jumpers. Uh, so um, basically, they're, it's kind of like Pong, um, but these allow they, they just change up just a bit to make it a different game. Um, allow the the, um, the ball or track whatever um, bar to move uh, a little bit differently. Um, I have a number now. There were, there were numbers on these. I think there were twelve in all. I have a, I have a number of these things. And um, now it was black and white. There was no sound that came out of the system. Um, didn't sound didn't come out later until the Pong came out, and that was a huge deal back in the 70s for for uh, for Pong. Now, Magnavox did release uh, a couple of Odysseys, uh, you know, Pong systems as well, uh, but this is uh, definitely for all that. Um, now, the interesting thing about the system is uh, it came with overlays as well. I have, as you can see, I have a, a ton of overlays, and it's what's interesting about these overlays is they came in two different sizes. This is one for. Uh, haunted house and one for a one size screen and uh, a smaller size screen so I guess back in the early 70s I guess TVs only came in two different sizes now one big downfall why the system didn't sell very well at all is because it was marketed in Magnavox stores only initially and so people thought that it only work on, on Magnavox televisions uh, which obviously it, it didn't but that was uh, the big confusion and fuss so people who didn't have a Magnavox uh, TV felt uh, kind of sh uh, shafted um, now these are the controls um, there's two of them. Now, you got to play two player on these. Now these are very bulky. I mean, the, these are the wires are huge on this thing. Um, and uh, basically, you got your reset here. So um, you got your uh, your horizontal shift here, uh, your vertical shift here, and uh, this adjusts the ball. You can actually control like uh, curve the ball using this one out here. Uh, kind of ingenious uh, that they had these if you think about it because uh, afterwards, for a while, the systems like the Pong systems didn't have. Uh, controllers like this until uh, later on so that was interesting this is way ahead of its time in that sense um, now there were a couple games also like um, uh, things that came with this this is a uh, football <laughs> and it, it's a card and, and you've got like uh, various uh, cards that you could play with it and um, um, you've got your even your little your bigger score uh, scoreboard uh, here which is kind of interesting um, and that was kind of funny. And on the very flip side of this, you got your uh, your roulette, <laughs> and uh, you, there was chips. I don't have any chips that came with this, but there were chips. Um, the interesting, uh, Ralph uh, B uh, Bear actually was the the guy who programmed this back in the late '60s. Uh, it wasn't released until 1972, but um, they actually sued uh, Atari and all everyone uh, that came out with a like Pong clone, and they won. And what's just interesting is Nintendo tried to sue. Uh, Magnavox claiming that Nintendo had the very first system, uh, which was the um, some kind of tennis game uh, released in '58, and uh, they didn't end winning that system because um, I guess the Nintendo system that came out was analog and not digital, so they didn't consider it um, technically a, a system. So uh, Magnavox won a whole bunch of money on this. Uh, Ralph later on uh, left and, and created the um, the Simon. Uh, uh, if you guys remember that uh, Simon uh, by Mattel. Uh, so that was kind of interesting. Um, so he created that. But this is the, the Odyssey. Um, let me know if you have any questions. I appreciate you guys watching my videos. And uh, keep those requests coming. i got a lot of systems uh, I can review for you guys. And I promise I will eventually get to them. <laughs> and if you guys want to view uh, a list of my systems or, or, or uh, 
games that I own, uh, there's a link on my, my channel. So just click on that link. It's a safe link. And, and let me know. I promise I'll get to them eventually. Um, thanks for watching, guys.